people come here for many reasons. They want to ask me questions about the future. What? I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house, you must answer the questions I ask of you. What? Does death bring peace or suffering? The heck is this? Would you prefer anonymity over notoriety? What is going on? What happened to smelling the Do roses? Victory when your words cause pain. What? Do you take that which you know you I'm just more interested in these these branches actually on the floor. <laughs> How interesting they look. Is betrayal caused by inequality or injustice? These are all very heavy questions. I don't think I can answer for you. It comes from the heart for sure. I guarantee that. Are you satisfied now? What the? Bro. Are we still in this vision thing? Yeah, we can read something. It's like a little weird teepee hut. Just read it. Um, oh, let's just do the... There we go. A few four women sat by the river. A witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy. But the joy turned to fear, and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping, until the child was born. But the crying had aged the woman, and she was no longer beautiful. When she was ha when she was old enough, her son climbed uh, the mountain of the home to find the home of the witch. He asked her if she could could see his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told. The boy, uh, she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared. The mother was what? I don't Even get it. The point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living the in the heck is head. Missy? Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. Uh, oh, we're here. Oh, there's another note. There's one here. What's this one say? Uh... Note from Ethan's mother. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want to keep. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it. I know. I. I know I got a snake's tongue. You're my little guy, precious bean. <laughs> you gotta pull your head out of them clouds, okay? All right, whatever. Interesting. This is strange. This is like his little play hut. It's quite weird looking. Where the heck are we now? Where's them torches gone? Are we in a different place? Oh, I'm lost. I'm lost in the forest. Although, I really like all the textures and everything. I can just, like, wander around this forest forever. Um, okay, let's try and figure out. I can't see those torches anymore. This reminds me of that scene on... Oh, a bridge. Oh, we're over... We crossed that bridge. This reminds me of that scene on uh, The Hobbit when they're, like, going off the cliff some reason um okay let's try and figure out where the heck I can go I think I found all the clues here um Oh, wow, that looked really good, actually. Look at that, it's so cool. It's all detailed. Oh, I love it. I love it. All games should look like this, I think. All games. Oh, there's a grave. Oh! We're back here. Oh, I didn't even see this bit. Flipping heck. We're back here again. I didn't even see that. Oh, I've got to go all the way back to those torches now, though. Oh. It's annoying. It's okay. I don't think there's a stamina bar, so I can just sprint forever. It's all good. This game's kind of creepy, though. It's giving, a, giving me a creepy vibe. I thought it was just like an inspect things. It'd be cool in this game if you had like a bunch of tools. Like, not to overcomplicate it, but like have like a magnifying glass and like various, you know, like investigation tools to sort of aid you along your quest. Like, you know, dust for fingerprints and all that. And I think that'd be really cool. Oh, the torches have gone. Oh. 
I wonder if this is the same place I was just at, actually. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Oh, I just went around in a big circle. Those torches are gone, though. That's really weird. How did the torches go? Is my guy, like, hallucinating or something? I don't know. Anyway, let's continue onwards on this adventure of beautiful um, ness. Oh, I just want to look at everything. It looks so beautiful. Oh, a house. Oh, no, that's the house I just came from, wasn't it? Have we gone around in the whole circle? Oh, I think we have. We've gone around in a full circle. Um. Okay. Let's... Which way did I go then? I went... <coughs> I went back down here, didn't I? That's what I did. So what would have happened if you went up the other way? Oh, I don't know. Can I go in here? Is there any clues? There's probably some clues in this bit, actually. Um. <laughs> Gotta be something. Or maybe this is the same area as just before. Oh, it is. There's the cliff. Okay. Back here again, yeah. That's like really bright light on this tree. It's really weird. Yeah, we're back to this weird tent thing. Can I go in? No, I can't. Though. Uh, okay. Let's try that little mine shaft thing. It was like a mine shaft area. I was just worried I might get stuck in there. I love exploring outside. It's so beautiful. Um, okay, so there's not a lot around here to do. There's some clues, but I can't gather anything from them. Hold on, I missed something. What is, what is this? Blood. Star, wing of the crow, crow's foot, neo cross, witch's foot. Sacrifice of Kel. Well, this guy knows what he's talking about, doesn't he? Sigil. It's a sigil. I don't get it. Those are some creepy stuff. I'm trying to think these people here were like cultists or something. Nope, got no idea what that is. Uh, oh, those stairs. <laughs> I think. Have I missed anything? Oh, damn, that's so amazing. Dem's graphics, though. Anything around here? No. Okay, let's go into that cave bit. I saw a little cave thingy, majiggy bob. Maybe, perhaps, that will lead us to something good. Can I make a shortcut through here? Yes, I can. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, Excuse me. I had my lunch not too long ago, so I'm burping. Burping like a boss. Good job this guy can run. Although it's not that fast he's running, or is it? I can't tell. That's probably normal speed. It's probably jogging speed, I'd say. Because I don't seem to run out of stamina, which is good. Uh, right, now I need to remember where that place was. I think it was just further down this way. Yeah, and then to the left. Imagine if, like, Skyrim looked like this. It'd be so amazing. Maybe Elder Scrolls 6 is the next one, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Elder Scrolls 4 was Oblivion. Elder Scrolls 5, Skyrim. Elder Scrolls 6 is the next one. Okay, let's let's get into this cave thing, I think. And see what's going on. Enter. I'd imagine I can get out again. I don't see why not. Oh, we need a torch or something. Can I... Oh, I can. No, it won't let me go. <laughs> oh, well, I'm doomed, guys. Or am I? Hold on. I'm ducking. 
Oh, I can get out. Okay, that's fine. I just didn't want to be stuck in a cave. Okay. At least it's... At least I can see, sort of. Oh, cavey. This reminds me of, um... Until Dawn, I think. Oh, there's the gates. Maybe I can unlock them. That would be good. No, maybe not. <laughs> oh, creepy cave. Mine, even. Oh, wow. It's like a haunted mine or something. Well, we're in the mine. You know what, guys? I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end this episode here, or how many episodes it's been already. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm having a lot of fun playing this, and I'm gonna continue playing it. Um, so I'll see you in the next part. See you later.